Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from SpeechModification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce canon, canon, and canonical. So you may have noticed that canon and canon have the same pronunciation, but different spelling. The first canon with one N is a word meaning a religious principle or dogma um, and a religious rule. And um, the second with the two ends is the uh, weapon. A cannon is a large gun. Um, they both have the same pronunciation, which has first syllable stress and letter A says the A ah vowel. So you can remember that by pairing it with a word like <clears throat> that cannon or had a cannon. Using something else with that A ah vowel, black cannon, for example. <clears throat> can help you to remember that. And then letter O, because it's in an unstressed second syllable, it's going to be a vowel schwa, it's going to be very reduced, nun. Um, it's almost like we don't have much vowel there at all. I'm just going between two N sounds, canon, nun. Um, so ka should be long, nun should be short, canon. But when we change to canonical, the syllable stress changes and our vowel sounds change. Now it's our letter A that has the reduced schwa that sounds like a uh, because we stress on the non syllable. And so um, in canonical letter, the second letter O or the letter O says the ah sound. Very typical for English that in a stress syllable, letter O will say ah. Um, you can remember that with words like not or um, uh, or uh, father is also the same vowel sound spelled with the letter A. Um, so picturing it as an A or an AH may help you to remember this. I also suggest with a word like canonical to start on the stressed syllable because if I start here at the beginning, I might be thinking canon. I may have trouble using that schwa for the first letter A. If I start with na, nonical, canonical, that helps me get the rhythm and helps me have a very short reduced vowel on this first syllable. The letters I and A are also reduced vowels. We have a reduced I sound. And then I haven't even written a vowel here for the final syllable. If there were any vowel there, it would be a little schwa sound. But this is what's called a syllabic L. I'm going to go right from my k to my o sound, kul, kul, um, where the L can be a full syllable by itself with just a little tiny schwa as I connect the k and the o, kul, canonical. Um, once you can say canon and canonical by themselves, try practicing them in some short phrases, however you need to use them, so that that new pronunciation, the correct pronunciation, comes smoothly and easily to you as you're speaking. If you have questions or, or um, need extra help with any of the sounds in these words, the vowel sounds, the syllabic L, syllable stress, you can check out our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. It's going to walk you through all of the sounds of English and help you build a strong foundation to pronounce any word you like confidently and easily in American English. That's our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. I'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day and on Saturday we'll have our live question and answer class. Thanks for watching this video, for your comments, questions, suggestions, likes and shares, and of course thanks so much to our channel subscribers and channel members. I truly appreciate your support. Looking forward to seeing you in our next class. I'm Christine Dunbar from SpeechModification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. SpeechModification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.